Majina unaitwa nani? Sandra Waruguru. Sandra Waruguru uko na miaka ngapi? 23. Miaka 23. Unatoka maeneo gani? Bahati Nairobi. Unatoka Nairobi maeneo inaitwa Bahati. Na umepitia kwa lango la wagonjwa. Je, uko na shida gani? Niko na shida ya miguu. Miguu ilifanya nini? E, nilizaliwa na shida ya miguu. Siwezi kutembea hadi nijishikilie kwa hii. Kwa hivyo unaweza kusimama bila hii? La, siwezi. Nataka ujaribu kusimama. Tanguka. Everybody lifting up your hands. Kila mtu mtu amenyua chumi kona yenu. Mighty Father. Baba mku. Father today we have appeared before you. Baba leo hii tumejiwasilisha mbele zako. In the city of Nairobi. Katika jiji la Nairobi. And I ask you precious Father na ninakuuliza baba wa dhamani the creator of the universe muumbaji wa ulimwengu the creator of the earth muumbaji wa dunia and all men na mwanadamu yote i ask you my father nakuuliza baba yangu that as we begin this mighty mighty healing service kwamba tunapoanza ibada hii kubwa kubwa ya uponyaji i have seen your glory nimekwishaona utukufu wako that you will visit many 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 people here kwamba utawatembelea watu wengi wengi sana hapa and release them my father na kuwaachilia baba yangu in the mighty name of jesus katika jina kuu la yesu that the creepers may get up and walk kwamba biwete wakasimame na kutembea all the creepers in this place biwete wote mahali hapo now receive your healing sasa pokea uponyaji wenu by the power of the blood of jesus kwa nguvu za damu ya yesu in the mighty name of jesus katika jina kuu la yesu amen finished Amina finished imekwisha now you can do what you could not do sasa unaweza fanya kila kitu hallelujah
Sandy, yes. 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 
ambao ni disability kama umeniona mm -hmm. uh, natumia crutches kutembea and this disability si accidental ati kama kufanya accident mm -hmm. it's since birth okay yeah ulizaliwa hivyo yeah it's a condition nimekuwa nayo tangu tangu nzaliwe mm -hmm. as a parent ukipata mtoto wako na disability you try your best to see how she can walk mm -hmm. without the crutches the walking frames so jani yangu ilianza na they noticed at six months that is at kinyata hospital mm -hmm. that i had an issue because nilikuwa nimekuwa kwa incubator for six months that mm -hmm. is at birth mm -hmm. so that is where my issue came from so my parents wamekuwa wakinga ngana venye nita tembea bila mm. so that is to say since my birth nimeanza na ma physiotherapy okay. going from hospital to hospital kinyata hospital kijabe hospital that is where i've had all my surgeries and all my therapies I had to go to before i went to a normal school nilibidi nichelewe kwenda shule cuz at that time uh, teachers were not so ready to embrace someone with mm -hmm. with a disability one on itakuwa kazi like kusaidia you look so young which time was that uh, let me say kwanza let me say 2000 okay yeah cuz say say i'm 28 mm -hmm. yes so my journey is like this so kaitika hiyo harakati ya kujaribu kutembea or to end my disability or better to be just kupone a, yeah kupona yeah, to live a normal a, life yeah, to tafuta a normal life i happened to go for many surgeries mm -hmm. but come 2018 mm -hmm. nika happen i went to buy some earphones mm -hmm. apo tu okay kwetu mtani ni bahati este tuacha nitaje wa fry mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, nakusikiza yeah they are listening oto bahati big up yeah manze wako so excited mm -hmm. <laughs> they've been waiting for this story mm -hmm. so it can happen 2018 mm -hmm. i was i went to buy earphones apo tu baha karibu na kaush so i came about nika meet our wasi I was see what. Uh -huh. But do out to ba. So, uh -huh. it's okay. Take your time. So, mm -hmm. I came about nika nika meet our see what prophet award. Mm -hmm. I was using a walking frame by then, not even these crutches. Walking frame ni le kama ya shushu. The one you inua ni na kahivi in the square. So, nikuwa natumia nikuwa natumia walking frame at that time. So, nika wanaanga na hizi zini tango placards, billboards za uo pasi. Profit to be precise. So, waka nismamisho. Waka mbezi, una itua nani? Nikuwa mbe, mina itua Sandra. Waka niliza kweni uniwapi. Nikuwa mbe, tu ni yapa baha mbele kiasi. Waka mbe, so how have you been like this? Nikuwa mbe, okay, yangu, nikutoka but yeah. so waka waka niambia mm, just mute it waka niambia nini waka niambia waka niambia niende kuna itwaje waka niambia that day they will next weekend they'll be having a show at see show in itwaje is if it was a mapasta at central park mm. yeah waka niambia that saturday of that week it was on a tuesday sija isa how because my hopes were so high because all my dream yangu ime kuanga kukua how is it to work like a no normal person. person so nilikuwa super excited so wali niambianga unaona sasa ni tukuombe ya unaona sasa ya ni wamekuita crusade kwa yeah, crusade ya wali crusade yeah. wakaniambia that was on tuesday wakaniambia sasa ni tukujia kwenu tukupendeke central park oh. so simi ni kawapia number na wakaniambia ni pale ya yeah. in fact wali ni zindikisha hadi kwetu ndo wajue sasa wata ni kujia wapi so mimi ndo uyo tukenda nao ni kuhonisha kwetu sasa ni kim sasa ni come in wakanichukua na gari wakakuja ukweli yes they came for real they came okay so wakakuja wakanichukua tukaenda central park kwenda central park tukapata watu wengi okay blind people mtu dumb yani watu wanaishi na ulemavu yeah all, all types of disabilities mm -hmm. niko wapata huko so yeah here comes now prophet wora mifika he's done the prayer na sasa umeitwa na mkuu hapo mbele atujafika pale kwa atujafika kwanza kwa podium mm -hmm. because when the prayers were done kila mtu wako uko huko tu kwa ground uko kwa uko central park tu. okay but now he comes amesimama pale kwa podium he's done a prayer then nyi wasemu muombe mmeanguka so kuna awasi wake our the congregation now the, the members of the church mm -hmm. wanakuanga tu wako mix up hapo kwa kwa crowd mm -hmm. so they come kama wao meanguka they come pick you up okay so me venye walini pick 
Kwa kwa ni oh, terusha fika mbele. Hapana. Uh-huh. Ni kuko tu kwa ground. Okay. Central Park kuko tu kwa ground. So But, kuna wale wame wameombewa wameanguka. Yeah, wase wameombewa wameanguka. In okay. fact, si ati ana ku place ya mkono at mm. like Mm-hmm. Amen. Ana yeah. watu akiwa pale. Okay. But now me I remember my own experience ni atini feel a wind. Kama okay. upepo tu. Uh-huh. Then I fell. Uh-huh. Kuanguka after kuamka now I remember kuna madam hapo alikuwa in those attires because they have their attires. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, kuna madam hapo alikuwa ngana attires akani pick. So from there akasema msiguze mtu wote. Let them walk the way they mtu angangani afanye aje atembee mwenye ataona hivyo so i remember for the first time nili struggle sana mpaka tukafika wapi kwa podium it was i think it was 11k24 nikafika kwa podium nikapata profit okay so so bado huwezi kutembea of course oh, yeah natembea tu nikianguka so venye niliona na struggle okay natembea like like a small baby yeah venye mtoto mdogo anajifundisha kutembea anajifundisha kutembea so i remember nika struggle struggle then i had my walking frame mm-hmm. nikaacha kufika pale kwa podium cause kuna mtu alikuwa nyuma yangu mm. kwa hiyo church tu yeah. alikuwa amenibebea hiyo walking, walking frame. frame so kufika kwa podium si prophet akasema tuwekwe hapo mbele mm. so i remember got a seat and they gave me a fanta mm. and now from there uh, nikatolewa viatu aka confirm my legs after confirming my legs akaniambia nao don't use this walking frame in fact niliacha huko i left the walking frame there eh, and now nikapiga simu home nikakujiwa Onana? okay wait yes unaja walking frame because why <laughs> okay niliacha walking frame because he said he has to fight with the devil that is his case with the devil that is what i remember and now But now my issue ili cause janga hapa let me now Uliweza kutembea kurudi nyumbani mam Like now okay nilitembea nilitembea I was weak but I, I was walking but I had to go back with with now nili have kuchukua crutches from someone home cuz mimi nimezitumia tangu kitambo so I had to send my own dad ake kuja wanikuje na nini na crutches because ile yenye niko nayo Ama imani yako ndio ndogo Ushaambiwa okay. wachana na walking frame no, you can walk no, home. No, let me tell you. It's not about imani because hata wasi wengine huko walikuwa wanatumia. Now the problem is one. Okay, recovery haikuwa something was weird. What? Something was weird because after after the prayers nili have kujenio church. You get. They used to come for me with eight cars. Wana nikujia na eight cars up home. Hii ni kitu hata watu wa mtaani wanajua. Mm-hmm. If you want to see that healing story, iko YouTube ukiandika Sandra Oruguru at Central Park utaniona tu. Mm-hmm. It's it's just there ni kitu iko evident. Uh, so my problem will come one. After ni join he church na wakanishonesha these special attires. I started going with them wana nikujia. Zile ngo refu. Yeah, hizi ngo refu. Skirt refu na coat refu. Eh, niko bado na zingine sijaipa. Na sasa kikuona hivi na hii swaga anasemaje? So you know, now let me tell you, you know Masawe nili have kwa cha hiyo church. Okay. That is why I'm dressed. The I think you're moving me. too fast. Pull up. So, umeletiwa scratches na Yeah, nimeletwa kutoka. Scratches rather. Umeletwa yeah. scratches na daddy. Yeah. Umeenda nyumbani. Ka- When I went home. Yes. Si nimefika home ni manza tu ile kutembea most most hivyo so nikaona for now hiyo si, kutembea without the crutches mm. na strain yeah. so nikamwambia dad let me be using one before jugo alikuwa ameniambia strength itakuja with slowly. time yeah it comes slowly muda. yes and then he told me mm. don't go to any for any medical assistance because but me nkwana na migu zangu haziko straight unaona mm. so mi na najiambia see i need a doctor for surgery au kitu kama hiyo physiotherapy yeah, physiotherapy something like that because hata kama hii miguu ita get balance it needs also a doctor juu inafanya vitu haijawahi fanya like hiyo yeah. experience sijui yeah so me i can remember akaniambia don't go to any hospital but me sasa ngwana shanga sasa siendi hosi the more kuna kucha sioni difference inabidi hata maybe nishinde because the longest distance ningeenda ni kama if it's here tuseme hapa malia wasi wako mm-hmm. kiasi tu even 100 meters ni long on my own so nikaanza kuwauliza tukienda church you guys na simwache mimi sick medical kwa wito wako wewe ndio ulijiunga na kanisa okay he told me i have to join the church okay so he has so in my brain amenipea healing 
as I presume it. Mm-hmm. So si mimi naona nikijoin niki hapo. But now the problem was venye nilianza nga kwenda hiyo church now. Mm-hmm. Ilikuwa ilikuwa iko hapa tu baha hapo at, at Bahati Primary School. Mm-hmm. Venye nilianza kuenda the the pastor who was running the church yenye hiyo yake yenye iko hapo Bahati Primary akaanza kuni stop kwenda na crutches. Akaniambia ti people will doubt the the healing. So Sandra I want you to stop doing what? Sani kamuliza aje siwezi tembea siwezi tembea sasa mnataka nishindange kwa nyumba what do i do sasa nifanye aje hata mimi mwenyewe nda survive aje because my mom is working my dad is working so inabidi nishinde tu kwa hao evil because now they don't want me to go to any hospital so i remember one thing happened mimi nikaanza kuona hapana ah wasi kuna vitu wananiambia ni awkward because apart from medical assistance walianza kuniambia nikae away from my mom and my dad because at my mom and, and my dad ni wachafu since my dad didn't join the church and my mom pia unaona ni wachafu aje azin azin kikristo eh kikristo A- live alone hata kikristo mm. wananiambia from now on hata mtu akikufa kwetu nisiende mazishi exactly who was telling you this see You see the, you see that pastor from that church yeah. and I it's from the prophet and I remember one time nilienda huko Lavington Paradox yeah. that is where prophet Ovor was having his conference and he himself akaniambia in fact he was ready to get me a passport and everything visa akuwa ki travel na mimi because my video is all over China everywhere even in fact rokita jatu Sandra prophet Ovor jina yangu ina pop up uko unaenda passport ya kwenda wapi china he wanted to be traveling with me yeah there is this why eh? why why because i don't know what happened but this my healing story ilikuwa so publicized it was so publicized so to him i think alikuwa anaiona iko sawa because other people when you tulikuwa healed now hakuna mtu unaweza sikia akiwa very famous but for me alikuwa ananiketa even the cars lakini huku pona so yes, why would he pona. use you yeah so now the reason why it's because one thing alikuwa ananiambia it will happen with time sasa wewe utakokienda na mimi hizo crusade i show you and nini nini evil that is what he told unaonyesha vile uta act not even acting uh-huh. like really ku act but ananiambia once we go there kwa podium usitumie nini usitumie hizi vitu so unajua nao ulikuwa unapiga hizo steps si unajua kuna ile power yake alikuwa uh-huh. ni hilna so i can manage to make steps but venye nimeanza kukua against hiyo kunikataza kutumia crutches and staying away from my mom nikikumbuka my mom amenibeba na mgongo i don't know for how long because now kitambo unaona hizi crutches okay before my parents even wange afford you work in frame ya aluminium unaenda unatengeneza wanafundi wa mtaa so unazaje niambia ati mamangu nisimongeleshe so i started to leave it so venye nilianza kuona kwa ch- kukata kuenda church na kuambia mi kama ndakuja church let me come with this one crutches since what see it come gradually see people can see god yeah, is doing something yeah, yeah. because the essence is god ndo ameku heal unaona mm. so mimi nashindwa mbona uniambie kitu kama hii but now what happened after nimeanza kukata church sasa acha nikwambie miguzi kesha nguvu so my legs became even weaker than they were i, I know my dad is listening i wish ange kwa available and ilete hapa he can tell you how surprised he was because now vitu hata hata sasa venye ningetembea na hiyo crutches moja ikaanza kukua kama ume notice nimekuja na crutches mbili yeah. yes because now with one crutches i can't i can't go a distance so unasema it was worse than how you even met them yes now after i i told him manzemi there is no way mnaweza nipeleka against my mom and my dad nikawaambia kuna venye mnaweza nipeleka against my mom and my dad And then at that time nilikuwa nafanya nga actually mimi na nilikuwa nauza maziwa. So they are like apana don't interact with people. Sana so uliza okay how will I survive how will I find for myself? No no. Mm. So in fact until until now kwanza hata sina job because now hata people were like au dem aliacha kuzitumia because of some crazy churches. No no. So hata say uko tu hivyo ndio. So I remember when you in Katanza mimi nimeacha nguvu zimeanza kuisha. Now there I am you're using two crutches okay finding a job imekuwa sasa ni difficult nobody will be so willing work on issues zako mtu akuite kwa job yake unaona and then people wamekuona kwa tv uko healed na nini so i remember i remember one time one time nikaambia mom eh hey, manzee sahi hata steps kadhaa 
ni blender eh hey, mama can you say what do we do come on there is nothing we can do sasa because if he used his powers and now he has taken his powers back what can i do neza fanyaje i had to take acceptance but now unajua it became so hard now because amekurudisha back step as you can see say currently i'm a mom of one by the way oh congratulations yeah, she's like a baby girl i only turned two years so you know but i'm a shattered dreams zangu because my target was mimi nikitembea i'd be so happy at least ni feel venye wase wo feel ulikuwa tempted kurudi back to where kwa kanisa to go back there. Yeah. okay i've never been tempted because first no, of all no yani kwanza nipate kitu moja sawa kwamba kabla kanisa were you were you able to do a few steps yeah. ama you were better baada kujiunga na kanisa lake no after after joining that church i became i i, be, I became worse because for me ninge ningetembea ngana crutches au kwa hivyo yes kabla okay you see, so baada ya hii healing baada ya healing baada ya healing na ukatoka kanisa ndio ukaribikiwa yeah. zaidi actually now kutoka hii kanisa ndio najuanga ili ni thuru because it made me worse okay ili nimekuas kabisa because ninge simamanga even for some minutes kama venye huyo amesimama let's say mm. ninge simama hivyo but now right now unapata unahitaji crutches mbili like you can go for long like now this leg ku lift una strain did you uliweza kupigia simu mtu yote umwambie hey umenifanyia nini okay you see first of all he doesn't have a personal number you can reach him but i remember kuna huyu pastor alikuwa in charge of the church iko huko alikuwa anaitwa pastor paul uh, iko hapa bahati primary nikamwambia manze why is it nimekuwa hivi then he told me sandra if you know what's good for you come back to the church okay yes anaitwa paul mathenge akayambi if you know what's good for you come back to Come church. back to church. Nikamwambia but which church is this in akuput against your parents? Kama mimi najua vizuri. Na hii ni church gani nakupatia vitisho? It has been given yeah. you it has been given to you for free. You will receive it yes. for free. And that is the word mm. of God. And then he tells me at unajua venye umetoka kwa kanisa even even salvation imekutoka ime hivyo. So uh-huh. I was like okay aje now. Because now me for real too I've never seen that God taking back powers if God heals you it remains that way yeah. either you backslide either you got saved me na juanga God ni God yeah. he, he doesn't judge he's a merciful God no no eh ana ku accept true when you come mm. so which is this God that at nikitoka una take back powers za okay if i can manage to walk sasa umeni mekwas like i've become weak even more than i was when because sasa kama now like unapata Mbeleni before mbeleni before nikata hii church hata even before those prayers hizi hizi uh, my legs ningezitumia hata let's say si unana venye kuna wase wo make bedroom upstairs unapanda to stairs kiasi mm, mm. the way people improvise i could have done that kupanda motorbike it was easier but now since kwacha since this healing and now living there the church ikakuwa manzee legs imekuwa hard there is a way uwezi panda vitu zingine now eh hey, yani ikakuwa hectic because now hata nilikuwa naonanga eh hey, even even looking for a job became hectic because now unashindwa eh hey, who will accept so kipindi hiki ambapo unaambiwa uende kwa kanisa na uweze kutembea katika crusades tofauti kuonyesha uponyaji ulikuwa unapata malipo yote no they were not paying me but whatever they were doing anything i use the transport whatever i eat if i need anything because they were ready kunikombolea hata nyumba by needing anything ni nini okay for example walikuwa wameniambia if i need a house mm-hmm. i'll be cuz i was living with my parents so walikuwa wameniambia if i need a house nitapata if i need a job uh, main altar ya nairobi they will cater for it mm-hmm. all i have to do is follow them no no i can just follow instructions so like it means to say wakiniambia stay away from your mom stay wakiniambia don't go to hospital anytime you need medical assistance even kama si migo because they don't believe in hospital mm. because the kuna even mama rosa they say she was resurrected at ali kufa akakuwa resurrected so they don't believe in hospital so mambo ya hospitali mambo ya medical mambo ya ku interact na watu if anyone in my family dies siko uh, a load kwenda dress code will change you wear whatever they do and then now there are certain jobs you can do sijui kazi gani they want you to be lawyer accountant ni kazi gani unakatazwa kufanya 
see now like easy easy jobs za ku interact na watu like now kama maziva for example whatever i was using see a customer is a customer kwani ukikuja inkuzi ya maziwa i want to ask you unafanya kazi gani ukiniambia ni kama maziwa ya dhati mimi eke ayu unaenda sasa job kama hiyo hawataki they just want job where in certain companies where kuna watu wao so that you go according to their doctrines unaona sasa kumaanisha it's hard it's a hard life actually most shocking thing you witnessed ilikuwa ni gani most shocking thing i've ever witnessed because okay me kimimi on a, on my personal end is okay let me ask you a parent is a parent mm. how can you take a child against her own parents o you parent ndo umejua all your life o parent ndo amekupeleka different hospitals to make sure you know hata by them nikiwa mtu hii hata cho singejipeleka hivi venye unaniona ni 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 surgeries i couldn't even take myself to the loo hakuna mm. anything ninge do that that was my my first scare from that church keeping me away from my parents mm. the second one is okay how do you tell me ati people will see like the healing didn't happen as i know a, a pastor or prophet is a vessel of god God and Donna Pena Helen. Now God I see take back Helen. So one thing I was I'm very sure hata saini kisema tu mimi kitu niliona. Those powers like they can be real because God can take what he has given you. Ushawitishiwa baada ya kushare story yako. Uh I guess this is the first time I'm doing an interview on radio mm-hmm. but I remember kuna interview zangu kadhaa zime zimekatwa as in they don't want to air me and i remember when they wanted to air me i won't mention the station but when they wanted to air me waliambo don't air sandra we don't want that lady speaking and i remember kuna brother derrick i have his number wali nipigia cuz nilikuwa nimeka hiyo poster kwa status ile kuambia wasewa ni excuse I remember Lynn Pigia Kambe Sandro Dongo there don't do what I remember Pastor Paul wherever they are kama watasikia watasikia in fact I'm doing this interview with Uoga I don't know if I talk here watanifuata because they told me don't try in fact now now walikuwa wananikujianga home so even I told that sijui nikienda hiyo interview kutendaje but all the same I did this to assist someone because Actually I was coming there why are you brave enough today yes. kuja kushare hii story yako You know why I'm doing this Kwa nini kwa nini uh, muhimu kwako Let me tell you why it's important for me It's important for me because kuna watu hawapendi kujiongelelea There are people who don't have courage to fight kwanza mtu ako na disability mm. First of all you feel inferior because hata ukitembea kwa barabara watu wanakuanga like ah check you level yenye eh? unaona Kuna watu hawajui kujifight and then again right now I am a mom I have a daughter I want her to know how to fight. I I want people to to know that. Okay, like don't believe everything you see. Don't believe everything you see. Be, and also it's like okay, dreams get shattered. Even Domina is the same. For someone who has ever, who doesn't know how it feels like kutembea. Unaona wewe kwako kutembea ni kawaida. I know. But to me, ni kama dream come true. Like unaona wewe ukitembea sasa hivi unaona ah. Ni steps to but me at his baby steps sizijui and there is somebody somewhere ameambiwa peleka mtoi wako ama go to prophet or war things will happen kuna mtu sasa hata tumia fair kujifikisha wherever park he will be in sayo mjakula because by the way from me me wherever i come from ati me by the way me natoka ghetto baha baha si si karenor it's some even for me to go there manze ilibidi my parents were sacrificed to come for me when lipie uba one ni mitembea una cheki and nikikumbuka vizuri sana hiyo kitu ina ni umanga unaona pc eh church bahati even did a fundraising there to go for a surgery then somebody comes and shatters my dream again and i know he does that to thousands of people na na ana 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 waika woga if you talk i'll kill you in fact what about you a job or anything una get anakuambi if you talk tutakupata sasa mtu mwingine atafanya aki uh, it's it's so painful because vitisho na of course kupokea vitisho you need to take certain measures mfano ni kwenda katika kituo cha polisi yeah. na kwenda kuripoti ushawahi ripoti kwamba ulikuwa unapata okay. vitisho kutoka kwa watu tofauti katika kanisa lake i never made any report because now how, however they were putting it walikuwa ni put dongo there 
don't mention that prophet no, no. Mm. but now you're a mother yes yeah so i've never thought of even going there <laughs> yeah. and then now you see okay like mina kuangaje like now i'm the type of person so sometimes you always wonder if an interview can be stopped by someone mm? an interview too a simple interview like the one you're doing right now maybe can be stopped so, so you will go to the police station the person in question is powerful no no if i'm doing this is because i know it's on air and many people are listening it's a powerful person ni mtu ako na connections zake hata ni zote toka hapa nifuatwe unaona sasa nikienda police station ni wambe bla 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 what has happened if he can stop an interview at a registration ni ni OCS mgani or what office can he not try so some things you just let god be because actually ni god ana try and you don't try god so me usema let god fight my battles because all along ni ame kwa kizi fight because I know even even if it wasn't the plan the plan was in it was but god am ninganganya because by the way masai let me tell you something there is something i've not told you so after those those my prayers na mambo imeenda hivi nimekatana na hiyo church usiye nimekwambia mama move on now i can also tell you that i'm even coming here now for a mother who, who is a mother and she has a disability mimi naweza kuambia because now migu zangu zilikuwa zimechange since the they were healing so i remember when i got pregnant uh, every doctor alikuwa ananiambia sandy by the way always ipata mtoto normal itabidi ni cs because now the age yenye venye venye migu zangu zilikuwa zinakanga apart before okay or even you before your healing sasa so, so after hizo kutekiwa back your healing yeah? kuna venye migu bado zilirudiaje so doki akikuangalia hivi akikuexamine anakuambia eh hey, sandy bana eh hey, kupush itakuletea Ala mm. but mbele ulibeba ni... mimba mpaka full time eh? Yeah nilibeba full time nilizalia pa Jujarudo Hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, so I remember ilikuwa hectic because mom ilibidi ya kuana nipeleka. Tumeenda different hospital uh, Kasarani, tumeenda hata Pumwani, tukaenda Jujarod. Uko sasa ndo there was only one doctor who had faith in me. Dr. Dan ndo alikuwa ngatuna imani na mimi because i was telling me when the doctor i can try and do it because these legs mbeleni zilikuwa tu ziko okay mm. like zinaweza manage na mwambia doctor manze i've been in theater like three times ukisema nianze kupata huu mtu ina cs it will be my fourth time in theater na sasa manze just have faith in god ananiambia but tunaja sasa medically kitu ikaku happen here it will be it's me siku take nini Mesha's precaution. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, so that doctor even had to take a leap of faith with me. Because now even kubeba mimba full time or dokia linyambia ngamanze God anakupenda. And by the at a sign kwa hapa I want to say God anampenda because my yandra alitoka ngana 3.1. Wow. Yeah, she was 3.1 kg at Juja Road Hospital, but I remember even the doctors there were linyambia Sandra just know God anakupenda because manze even for those legs to bring out that child because when you examine wananiambia pana is it go has is it these inches as is it songa so ilikuwa tu ni leap of faith na hiyo kitu ndo hata sasa now hiyo hiyo ndo kitu inanyumanga because now imagine all my life ni a disability okay then you come so nani anakusaidia kuchunga mtoto na anakusaidia kuchunga mtoto oh same mtoto wangu ako na mom mhm mm yeah yeah nimewacha kwa hao na mom uh, because baba mtoto we, yeah? baba mtoto baba mtoto he's around mm -hmm. actually i think he's listening okay oh. yeah he's somewhere listening i am wishi pamoja eh? no I live with him but now currently nilikuwa nimeenda kwa mom kidogo because right now I don't have a source of income and when you kwa na uzangaza mama zio since vitu zangu ziende and then you know when you have disability for someone to have faith to employ you inakuanga inakuangua inakuanga tricky so ina bidingi so msomea nini Okay currently I did some community development mm -hmm. but I didn't manage to finish mm -hmm. but niko na nini ya form 4 nimefanya peer comp ya yeah, your community sikuimaliza so that's how I am currently Okay yeah. na baba mtoto fanyi kazi Okay he he he's working but now currently he's been sick alikuwa msick mm -hmm. and now the, so currently and i'm i'm pay him same motorbike so let me just say for now we are just managing okay yeah okay but he's a present father 
yeah he's a present father oh and masai in fact i forgot to tell you i want to say thank you to mm. him on radio because you know actually even he's not the biological father but he really loves my daughter oh yes okay biological father you copy uh, that guy don't mm. even remind me that guy <laughs> <laughs> that guy, you guy. <laughs> that guy is a you guy. Just forget about him. Yeah, so Wait, what happened to the biological dad? I leave him that one. At a story I can stuck you because but the dead beat. He's a deadbeat father mm -hmm. and yet he's very financial stable. Mm -hmm. But he's a deadbeat. Mm -hmm. so, happy? Okay, kwa kulikuwa salem. Mm -hmm. Jerusalem, okay. Bahana Salem ni kama ni simbali. Simbali. Okay. Yeah, but now he's a person who runs a company he has an it job he's good with it and everything mm -hmm. like in his ass, I'm a sour, yeah? mm -hmm. he's not anywhere in my life in fact hatam to talk even i'm so sad ni make i kitu live on radio i know my husband will be so mad but i just wanted to know how, him to know how much i appreciate the love i'm a and in fact right now mm -hmm. that that is not his part wow she doesn't know that and she's his favorite to come here in fact i was to mention this but i just did this to say a lot of thank yous to him okay okay yeah so biological father for years wow yes and i'm actually it wasn't an accidental pregnancy yeah nikitu mlipanga mko mnaishi pamoja we were not living together but sasa ili kwa niki get pregnant he used to come home yeah. so it was like now we get pregnant you come introduce yourself home as we move out okay on a check but now kumbe he's a crazy person he had other plans so you remember niki wa four months pregnant aka cut off at aka cut off even communication na at that time at a haishi mbali na mimi so i come to a point that ako pale na watu wananiambia manzetu mwana fulani pale naishi na ulemavu ah aishi na ulemavu no you know ako tu sawa he doesn't have any disability mm -hmm. yeah he's very okay. fine wow people can be mean ne eh? very mean I'm he so can't sorry. even wish his daughter happy birthday oh. actually she turned two years last week i did her birthday on sunday yeah he can't even wish her a happy birthday and that is so irritating i'm so sorry my dear it's fine yeah ni life too Pastor Paul. Yes. Uko mzima? Na Yesu. Okay. Good to know. Sasa mimi kwa majina naitwa Masawe. Eh. Na nafanya kazi kwa Radio Jambo. E. Na kwa kawaida nikipata mgeni na anadai kitu fulani, kawaida nakupatia nafasi ya kuweza kujibu right of reply kwa Kiingereza. Sasa mgeni wangu anaitwa Sandra na niko naye hapa na unamkumbuka una una, una ufahamu wote na jina hili ah uh, uh. acha nimpatie nafasi iweze kuzungumza naye Sandra tafadhali hi hi pastor yeah. hi yes ha, how are you ni, ni Sandra Kihara i guess unanikumbuka tulikuwa na wewe Central Park i guess the year 2018 ah uh, lakini sikumbuki Okay. Ah, uh, Okay, so Nico Reggie Jumbo, I was here telling them about my healing story here ya 2018 at oh, Central yeah, Park. Yeah, 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 yeah. Na venye nimekuwa nikikuja. Umemkumbuka? Eh nimemkumbuka. Umemkumbuka? Sana sana sana. Okay. Yes. So ameweza kudai story yake na kusema kwamba alikuwa ameweza kupata vitisho kutoka kwa kanisa, akiambiwa siwezi kutoka kwa kanisa. Moja, yes. pili pia akaambiwa akiweza kuelezea mtoto story yake, aliweza kupata vitisho vya kifo. Nani alimtishia? Hai, uh, anakusikia. Mm, Anauliza nani alikutishia? I was I was supposed I was supposed I was supposed to have an interview. Sorry, I, I was supposed to have an interview an interview somewhere and and when i did the poster i remember i know brother derrick akomalia na nsikiza na aliniuliza why i want to share that story 
why I want to share that story and why I want to say about the church na nakumbuka nga hata nikiuko bahati primary mnakumbuka nikikuja na hizo nguo kama ni nikitembea na crutches ukaniambia hautaki niwe nikikuja na hizo crutches actually your crutches you are the one who told me that you don't want me to be coming with the crutches in church mm-hmm. because people will doubt if it happened mhm je ni kweli madai haya yanayozungumzia pastor Paul uh once uh, we were with him we did mm-hmm. with her mhm na ile tukio iko ni ya kwamba mhm alikuja kwa mkutano ndio na akatembea ndio na alilia sana wakati alitembea mhm hello nakusikia alilia sana mhm sababu alikuwa anaona it was very very impossible mhm for her to walk mm-hmm. but through her faith she walked mm-hmm. so for me as a pastor nikamwambia mm-hmm. now you are there to practice for for okay you practice for the part to tembea sababu ni kama mtoto mchanga bila unamponyesha sasa anza kutembea mhm unaona so that akiwa akienda hivyo atakuwa used na atatembea mzuri okay yeah anadai pia alikuwa amepatiwa vitisho asiweze kutoka kanisani na nani okay I remember pastor do you remember that when mlikuwa mnakuja kunitembelea home I remember mliniambianga that my mom and dad you the way, time mlikuwa mnakuja fellowship uko mm-hmm. kwetu bahati estate i remember mkiniambia that uh, my mom and dad because they were not saved and that the area because the area was living in ilikuwa kind of mixed up iko na mambo ya hizo church i remember mkiniambia nikae away and i remember uh, david alikuwa anaenda nairobi alta alikuwa anaenda mm-hmm. nairobi alta and he was a neighbor then bahati akikuja akiniambia that now even david even david the barrier so yes? uh, anakuuliza david nani Oh David alendanga na Nairobi Alta alikuwa anaishi hapo hiyo plot yetu next and he was he was i don't know a worship member or something huo ni mmoja mm. alikuwa anakuja hizo time mkikuja mki fellowship home after hizo hizo healing mm. yeah i remember aliniambia now that even kwetu kukiwa na is inaitwaje what is it called mm. Mm. Uh, kukiwa na at a burial and then i should stay away f- away from my mom and my dad and i remember mkiniambia ni change dress code and the kind of jobs i i should do and when uh, inafa kutoka i remember ta nikiambiwa that now i should if i had any romantic uh, relationship at that time i remember niliambwa hizo vitu zote i should cut off i remember mm. yeah yeah ni kweli ma Unajua sasa kwa fellowship mimi sikukua Mhm. So sikisingeweza kujua ni nini alikuwa anaambiwa. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Na, na, na madai ambayo ameweza kuzungumzia kisema kwamba aliweza kupata vitisho iwapo kwamba she will ever share this, her story yes, because I was supposed to have an interview somewhere else. Yes. But for safety uh, uh, reasons yo, yo, I want to mention. Yo, I think it's somehow baseless. Mhm sababu unajua ye yeah, alikuja voluntary mhm and mm-hmm. he decided to walk out mm-hmm. there is no one to treat him mm-hmm. to treat him mm-hmm. yeah okay yeah kwa hivyo unakanusha uh, madai haya yote kabisa kabisa okay asante sana kwa muda wako pastor paul tuko pamoja siku njema eh okay thank you how do you address uh oh when you address the prophet yes you address him as man of god okay yes okay man of god and you can't address him standing mhm you kneel down okay yes. now wakati wa kumsalimia unaweza kumpatia mkono wako if you have kama wewe ni mlemavu something like that the rest of the people they don't have access Oh, yeye yeah, anataka hao wale mavu. Like kama hiyo siku yangu ya healing, mm. mimi nilikuwa allowed hata kukula na yeye yeah, at the same table, mm-hmm. kumgusa, kumsalimia, but the rest of the people wanamita man of God, even one 
na una, una kneel before him na ni hivyo no touching of hands hakuna hiyo direct contact okay yes na ukisema kwamba ni walimavu pekee yake inamaanisha kwamba hata wale ambao wanafanya kazi katika kanisa hili hawaruhusiwi yes, kumpatia mkono they can't touch his hands because okay. if i remember correctly yeye yeah, anasema anataka hawa 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 wenye ame, hawa wenye ameponya he puts it like hawa hawa wa Mungu ndo anataka these helpless ones wenye nimesaidia hivyo ndo anaiput okay eh the rest of the people hata uko umeva hizo hata yaz hapana nyinyi wengine kama you stand awake kiasi but kama ni mimi niko na hizi ama ame perform hili in that particular day sisi iko sawa hata atakuja maybe atakushika mkono atatembea tembea na wewe hivyo mm. yeah okay pastor paul amesema kitu kimoja yes. kwamba kipindi hicho uliombewa ndio na kwa imani yes. yako kwa kweli uliweza kutembea yes yeah could be right kwa sababu amekanusha kusema kwamba hakuna vitisho vya kifo hakuna mtu ambaye alikukataza kutoka kanisani okay. uliingia kanisa mwenyewe kwa kupenda masawe you know okay ana, anasema hakuna vitisho mm. but if you, if it were if it were, if it were not for if it were not for security reasons or if it were not if i don't know if i'm safe mm. ndo uje kuko na threats ningekuwa na evidence no, no. Mm. that kulikuwa na I, I was supposed to be somewhere like today the way niko na wewe kufanya mahojiano yes kufanya mahojiano na nimeona ujumbe ukiambiwa usijaribu kufanya any mahojiano yes eh. no, no. but now due to security reasons i can't mention but it's there it's evident that at a mahojiano ingekuwa maybe may happen somewhere else at a different time okay no, no. Mm. it's just that you you are courageous it's just that you you fight for people that is why you you are holding this interview another person i feel intimidated ako ni pay opportunity na mtu mwingine kama mimi or even worse than me atakuwa intimidated wacha venye mimi nimefika hapa sasa hata kufika hata fika atanyamaza this thing will continue continue to generations to generations by the way hata siji fight i'm not fighting for me kwa kanisa hili um, huwa uh, ukiangalia tu headset yes iko kwa headset gani ni vijana watu no. miaka wastani wazee kuna wako watu wastani wastani na wazee medium tu tuseme medium okay like hawa wengine ni tuseme wastani tu medium and elder people okay kuna yeah. kuna kuna vikundi tofauti pengine unajua kwa kila kanisa kuna mfumo yeah, but now, tofauti kwamba kuna kitu kingine bado na hicha youth ya yeah, kuna hizo youth eh, wao wafanye hizo mawashipino au oh, wenye wote za violin okay most of the youth wanacheza hizo violin instrumentals yani they do the instrumentals but now something else with this church um, like even their their way of preaching iko iko so tofauti yes, yes kuna 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 bible okay it's yes yet it work against the bible or anything wanatumia bible yes but utapata most of the times mnaongelea about uh, revelation redemptions hizi mambo za hizi vitu zita happen shey wananga kama venye anakujanga kwa tv anasema sijui msipofanya hivi kitu fulani ita happen mm. si i'm sure hata kama mjai ende hiyo church mnasikia hizo vitu kweli si that is what it yeah like he preaches about is on my revolution end of times end of time end time actually that is the word i was looking for and i, and I speak about end times so utapata ako hapo anakuonesha ya and then there is something funny unaona kuna hiyo day nikiwako 2018 i forgot to say it uh, kuna hiyo 2018 nikiwako central park so there was away well, there was uh, kuna venye walikuwa wana i presume ati ati woman of god ametokea twice like an angel watu wenye wali watch i'm very sure watu wenye wali watch waliona hiyo kitu like it tells you unaona watu wanachukua hizi masimu kuna mtu anasema ati wao jamaa ametokea okay sorry to say that prophet ametokea twice so he he akona hiyo kitu ya kupea watu hiyo mentality ya like he's he's a god no okay what you're trying to say ni kwamba anajitokeza kama malaika yeah, hatembei like no no si kutoka juu uh-huh. you see see he's here for example la kwapo huko ndio yeah. he's doing the preaching so okay. wakati amefanya hizo preaching utaona mtu kuna watu walikuwa wanatokea na simu wanasema si unaona hapo maliko sikuna mtu nyuma yake and they do it, they show it with phone mm. like he has appeared twice huyu mwingine si mtu yeye yeah, ni yeah, okay like it's you yeah. kuna wewe hapo like kwa vision ya simu sasa okay. inaonesha na kama umetokea watu wawili like the way now in bible oh. times utasikia angel Okay. You get. So so unapata whatever 
so unajua hiyo mentality ikishaingia wase ni nini wao mtu anaweza kuambia ukatai if at all ako na wase okay like mi kimimi but hata mimi nilikuja kuangalia hiyo kitu baadaye because nilijiuliza nga one thing how can a normal person appear twice ikwe tunamuona ndo amesimama na kwa simu tunaonesha kuna mtu ako nyuma yake you know now as a person ukioneshwa hivyo si utakuwa utabeba mentally Mm. because kama unamuita oh, he's a man of god he's a royal highness si unaona kuna hiyo but i call myself child of god there's nothing wrong in calling yourself man yeah, of god yeah there is nothing wrong yeah. there is no, nothing wrong with that but let me ask you mm. si kuna churches mingi kuna pastors kuna prophets kuna wengi tu si ndio nani ushaona akionesha na on live tv that wametokea double who only seen it there that he shows that kuna venyame ya piapo and akuta kosa mtu mmoja mwenye atalitopo kwa podium kuonesha na kwa simu i am very sure watu wali watu kwa kwa 24 they can be my witness that that thing was aired okay yes. maneno yako mwisho my dear unaweza kusemaje kwa mtu anakusikiliza and i listen to me i just love to say like mm-hmm. uh, have acceptance take yourself as you are mm-hmm. fight your battles Don't, don't let anything limit you. Don't be intimidated by anything. And uh, then let me let me tell my people with disability. This one I just want to tell people like me. Mm. Yeah, like fight your own battles. No, you can be better than even like other pe- you can be like other people or even more better than the ones you see walking or they can see and don't limit your dreams. Don't shatter your dreams because someone is telling you wezi fika hapo unaweza fika. Okay. And then Masawe just allow me I want to say hi to my daughter. I know okay. kakoma ali to kasa mom mom mom. Hey Anra. Mommy is here. I love you. Kisses. Oh. Yeah, she's sweet. my everything. I love her so much. And Masawe, thank you for this opportunity. Karibu sana. Asante sana, yes. eh? Na kila laheri. Thank you.